Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Quarter Lust, and today we are unboxing some new items for the store. These are from Square, and I'm assuming these are the register, the cash box, and a few other things. So this one was pretty heavy, um, and I want to find out. So I'm going to do the Liza method, and I'm going to hold the scissors like this. Um, what's going on, Gabriel? How you guys doing? Click clacks. What up? We're opening something. Look at this. Do not do this. <laughs> I figure if I'm going to hurt myself, I might as well do it on camera, right? But <laughs> it's hard to hold this thing. I got to start wearing the chest camera harness again. What's up, Reef God? All right. That's why it sounded like um, everything kept falling around here. Make like putting boxes in boxes. Wow, that's pretty heavy. It must be made of steel or something. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna carry it over here. To do. Um, this probably is the stand part. I'll put that over here for now. So Gabriel, sorry, I've been kind of quiet. I haven't really had a chance to get back to you on inventory and stuff. I do have the wife and the kids off for the holidays, so I've been just trying to spend time when I can and get other stuff done. So, ugh. we are gonna work on inventory though in a few minutes. I do have somebody here with me, and I'll introduce you guys in a second. So, let's see what else is in here. Yeah, I know, life gets busy, man. It's crazy, and I'm trying to get everyone here and it's funny, the electricians, nobody ever wants to show up. So I'm like fighting to get work done. And I want those floors done. The painter wants to come back. He wants to do some extra um, painting this week. And then the shelving I want to put up. So it's fun. But the shelving, I don't want to overshelve the store and make it look crappy. So I am actually going to remove some shelving, even though we need it desperately. Oh, I was wrong. This is the says cash drawer. I don't know what that thing is. It's like a brick over there. Oh, the printer. Man, that printer must have a lot of metal parts in it. So I'm going to pick this up. Hey, Jeremy. It's good to hear that you're off this week. Hopefully you have some time to finish up your awesome website. What you were working on is pretty cool. I honestly haven't even had a chance to work on mine. So hopefully I'll get to sit down and spend some time and do that this week. Because I really, really want to. Um, I am going to come back and open these things in a second. I just want to tell you guys about the water, the volcano tank. So, <clears throat> and I am going to harvest some of these plants today. So I'm going to take these out and just put them in a bowl or something. They're just growing in blocking all the light underneath so but that may be my fault i did spread them around a little bit so here's the other square register that we got this thing's pretty awesome i can't wait to hook that one up as well it's pretty sleek and it has the screen on the other side so not only can you see it but the customer can see what you're doing so you can make sure no one rings you up or charges you for the wrong thing so if you're buying snails or you're buying invertebrates or red leg hermit crabs you're not going to get charged for something else you'll be like dude make sure you know it's kind of a way to check not always employees we try to train everyone i hate when you go to a fish store and the kids that work there do not know what they're selling you and they're bagging up products and writing prices and they have no idea what's in there so that's why you hear a lot of those stories of people getting stuff for free or uh 80 fish for 10 bucks you know stuff like that always happens but <laughs> So, here is the volcano tank. This is what we're going to do. The nice thing about this is it's a rectangle, so the sand is always going to fall to that same point. So, instead of having, um, like, the longer rectangle tank that we have downstairs, the 20-gallon, 29-gallon, uh, this will be a little bit easier. So, I'm going to clean that out in a second. My daughter and I were going to set this up for her as a clownfish tank, and we just got so busy. It's still sitting here. So we're now turning it into a sand volcano tank. 
and we're going to use this stuff. Now, I saw somebody in another video used it. Um, when I'm putting that habitat epoxy down, it's really, like I said, expensive and it's heavy. So the more you can shape something out and then just coat it with that stuff, the better. Because if you just use big globs of it to try to take shape, it just, it's just a waste. So, so yeah, so this will be cool to see what happens. But this time, what I'm going to be smart when I run it up here, and I'm going to use a canister filter under here. So the nice thing is I'll just throw a little canister filter in there, and then I'm going to try to drill it. But when I run the plumbing, I'm just going to run it all the way up the back first and then back down just so that there's no loop that creates a siphon and drains the tank. Because that last one I drilled for the bottom, which is really cool and it's awesome, but the check valve didn't work and it just drained the whole tank. I mean, it was like kind of annoying. I should have thought of that about that, that the check valve wasn't going to work. Um, that it could have been a possibility and if I ever had to change the check valve I was like oh we'll just drain the tank when that happens I didn't realize how much of a pain um, I said it but you know later now after the fact I think of it's always always better redundancy don't trust equipment it always breaks on you it just happens so <clears throat> I don't know if I should introduce you guys but this is um, Wills he's part of the team at the moment he's helping us yeah. out so I'll do more. I'm trying to get him involved with the YouTube stuff. Really, really helps um, the more people we have involved. So he's working on right now the T-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff. Because I have all these great products and we want to sell them and ship them to you guys. But they actually have to be organized, uploaded, and everything has to be done correctly. So that's what we're trying to do. But yeah, I can't wait to work on that. So later on, if anyone has seen any YouTube videos... Feel free to let me know because I haven't done any research yet, but I saw a couple like quick ones where they use the foam and then they use the razor blade and they kind of shaped it. So it dries fast and expands. So it gives you a lot of volume for very little money. But What's up, Bentley? Where's your ball, Bentley? Huh? The girls went to the barn. They left you home. He's like, yeah, I ain't having it. So, all right, well, enjoy yourselves. I'm going to finish using these scissors dangerously. Um, I'll try not to put the blade towards myself this time, but I do want to open this and get everything synced and get all the inventory up and ready. We're probably, a couple people have been recommending to me to have a soft opening and not try to do like a grand opening without testing everything. So I'll just have to find out. My landlords, well, I gotta pay regardless, but maybe they'll give me a break. So, nice. And this is a cash box that's hooked up to the printer. So, I think it's interesting. Yeah, I would love that shirt, Jeremy. That's my childhood right there, running with scissors, and I made it out. I survived. Yeah, this would be so much easier with the GoPro and the chest harness. I need a full-time designated cameraman, seriously. I wonder what that would cost me. <laughs> You get to stare at the money tree a lot. This thing's awesome. That's going over to the store with me. That's what I got it for. When we, we signed the lease, I went and got that tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It may make it a little bit easier. Go ahead and try that. You can just get used to the controls. I have it on live, so you can talk and say hello and read if there's any um, comments, messages. This is the, the money box, correct? Yep, yeah, that's the cash box. So we never even built our retail section yet. So <laughs> I like to build everything so custom, I wait until I actually have the products. Problem with that is replacements later on down the road when stuff gets discontinued and I can't find the proper TV to fit in my wall, cut out, you know, stuff like that. But regardless, I always enjoy a custom job. So our retail counter is designed just for square. And we're gonna make it really easy for you guys. Ooh, check that out. 
should have that one off on the ground with the bone. So the iPad goes right in there. Oh, so you got both of them already? Yeah, yeah, I got two. So one is gonna be our inventory. So we're gonna build a mobile cart. So those of you who come in, you'll be able to pay with PayPal, you'll be able to pay with Square. Um, we're gonna make it really easy for customers. A very modern store, as opposed to just using cash or credit. Uh, but yeah. So the inventory, I think that's the inventory one, and the other one goes with the register. That black one. So I can't wait to open that thing. So this is the printer. I'm gonna leave it in the box for now because I'll hook it up later, but we'll definitely test it out. And the cool thing is now with the 2D scanners, we'll be able to give you guys coupons. You can actually bring them in on your cell phone. You can check, keep track of loyalty points. You can do all that fun stuff. So if, even if you lose your receipt, um, not only can we scan it for returns, but we can look you up through your credit card. So cool stuff. We'll try to make returns easy for people. It happens. So there's the printer, there's that, and let's see what this sucker is. This is what I kept saying, oh, now I know why I was so heavy. This is a tree, this is rolls of paper, tightly rolled paper. I was like, what could be so heavy? Is that receipt paper? Yep, that's receipt paper. That's why it was ridiculously heavy. So, and this thing we'll start testing out. Oh, there's more too. Oh, that's cute. Here's little cars and stuff. That's where that iPad thing will go. Somehow, I don't know what that is. It must be to lock it in there. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, that locks it in place. Very nifty. So I'm excited. And this thing spins around. I think it has a little um, lazy Susan thing right here. And then you can spin around for customers to sign. So the other one has dual screens, but this one I only needed one screen, so for doing the inventory purposes. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so I'll leave that stuff there. Let's go open the other one. All right, I'll sleep there. There's all kinds of cool, fun stuff in here. Toolkit. This is uh, one of the carless readers for tap. Mm -hmm. and yeah, wow, that phone is awesome. Do you want to open it in there? Yeah, I'll open it in there. We just walk. It is live. Anyone say anything? Is Gabriel still there? Uh, That's Gabriel. You know how to read the messages on that? You just click the. Yeah, just tap that and see if he's saying it. <laughs> that one code. Yeah, definitely have to put QR codes, and you can um, control that, and the battery's dead on that one too. So, I'm gonna start opening this one. That battery's definitely dead on that. Short on the. I want to get that new one that I showed on Facebook. Okay. Hmm. Any instructions on how to open these things half the time? Alright. We have one more. I trust you box opening scissors. <laughs> See, I love quality packing materials. Yeah, it's so sleek, it probably blends in. There's no lighting in my office, so you guys probably can't see. But it's got a really nice screen. It's larger than the iPad and also has a magnetic. So that's the customer display? Yeah. I just have to pull that paper off somehow. And then. I guess it's Bluetooth or I wonder how that works. There's this, this credit card swipe chip reader tap. That's really cool. Hmm. Oh, that's nifty. So you can set it in there if someone's you know in a wheelchair or something, you have to hand it to them. They can take it and sign and run their credit card if they don't want to hand it to you. So awesome. 
I'm looking forward to that. And then it charges when you plug it in. So at nighttime or whatever, put it back, it charges. Mm. Awesome. Good deal. And I ordered a new scan gun. I do have that one that's right next to you. You can show them for fun. And then the other one we got is, uh, oh, wow. It gives upgraded one, two, three, four, five USB ports. Nice. Mounting blocks, no one steals it. <laughs> well, that'll be fun. So, yeah, I get to play with all that stuff later on. But, mm -hmm. this way for now. So I know it's end of lunch time, so people are probably just getting back to work, so I'm sure. Or a little inconvenient live stream today, but at least Gabriel got to say hi for a second. And we just missed Liza before she left for the barn, so I think she was wearing a Corolla shirt again. Yeah. A good looking Corolla shirt. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, guys, so that's that. Um, that's our quick update. We will do some more later when we do, do the bottom of this. But it'll be fun to just design this for the sand. And this is shooting up from the bottom. So where it falls, it falls. It'll just keep going back into the bottom. So we won't have to worry about any um, running out of sand or any off drift like we did last time. Because I should have extended the walls. I was just really um, concerned with my art design instead of the functionality. Which I should have been more concerned with the functionality, but whatever. Next time. So you can just hit that button, sign off, <laughs> but we'll see you guys later on.